Hi everybody and welcome to the 8th update now of the Bird's Eye Learning Series with me, James Hopwood, UK Agriculture Manager here at Bird's Eye. And it's an exciting time out in the fields because we're starting to see uh, a nice change in the pea crops now. There's buds appearing and even our very first white flowers there, which mean the peas are just around the corner. We'll have a look at those in just a moment. But I thought I'd touch today on, uh, on another area of agriculture in an area that we look at and are quite passionate about here at Birdseye and that's about driving productivity and to do that over the years Birdseye have used lots of different methods in order to drive the productivity that we see in our operation today and now we're in the cusp where, where we're integrating with new technologies to take the operation forward and there's a number of those that we see in modern day agriculture the likes of RTK, real-time kinetics, by which our tractors are driving in dead straight lines up and down the field in the drilling of our peas to make sure that we don't have any overlap of a four meter drilling width. We're also using that real-time kinetics technology on our pea viners to make sure that we drive in straight lines up and down the field when harvesting our peas. It means that two or three machines can work in harmony and in sync together but it also means that we can drive at different angles across the pea crop in order to collect that crop sideways on so if the wind comes across from east to west or west to east we can then drive against the flow of the peas to pick every single one up so brilliant technology being integrated on our machinery we also have uh, telematics units on our wagons so we can see in real time the location of our peas on the way from field to factory and that gives us a huge amount of information including if there's been a problem on the roads or if traffic's building up we can ensure that those peas are delivered uh, to the factory to ensure that we keep them within that 150 minute band for the bird's eye brand and keep that sweetness that we need locked in. We're also looking at uh, uh, satellite imagery and that satellite imagery is it's quite new technology and the advances in that have come from the last couple of decades. 20, 25 years ago even satellites were up there capturing imagery but it was quite grainy and the, uh, the rev resolution of that was quite wide so you'd have a 30 metre square image so your house would just be one blob on a map uh, and it wouldn't be defined. Technology's moved on, uh, and we're now getting it, or have the ability to get an image every single day to increasingly accurate resolutions. So we can now see a three meter squared area, which means the images of the fields that we're picking up are becoming more and more accurate all the time, which makes our decision making ability in the field to see variability as it comes through because of the environmental factors that we've talk, talked about throughout the learning series. We can then start to manage those in the harvesting of our peas to ensure that we get consistent quality. And I'll just show you uh, a map and what that looks like on here by bringing the camera up. And as you can see there, that's an image of a, one of our fields uh, over the last couple of days. And the variance between the darker areas and the green areas is not very much at all but it is picking out uh, those slight variances in that crop. So our fieldsmen can work towards sampling those areas of the field to see what the difference is in quality and then make decisions about how we optimize the harvest of those crops. So some fascinating uh, technology being implemented now across our operation to drive ourselves forward. And where do we go into the future? That's a really interesting question around the use of drones uh, and how drones can be used within the production of our crops, whether that to be to spot spray, uh, to control pests and diseases uh, and weeds accurately, uh, but also in the monitoring of specific areas of our crops. So we'll have drones out there uh, this year monitoring very small areas to very small resolutions, 10 meter squared uh, pixels coming together so we can really accurately uh, look at some small areas of our crops, take the learnings from them and then implement them on the wider scale. As well as that, further forward still we start to look at robotics 
and automation of technology and agricultural technology and we take a lot of learnings from the automotive industry the work that the likes of Tesla are doing uh, and watching those sorts of businesses drive that technology forward and agriculture hopefully will come off the back of that as we start to see automation in years to come. Exciting times in agriculture, I'm really pleased that we are able to, uh, to work with this now and drive and push forward. Again, lots of information out there on the internet uh, if you're interested in how we move productivity in agriculture forward. Back to our pea crop, uh, and as you'll see the peas are moving really well. This pea crop had a little bit of a battering with the wind over the weekend, but as you can see here now, we've got our buds forming on the leaf. These evaded the frost, uh, they've dealt with the wind, and now we have our first flowers. So on your pea crops at home, uh, in the garden, on the windowsill, you'll be able to start seeing these flowers. And that means that these peas are about 21 days away from uh, sweet peas being available to eat straight off the plant. So looking really good, and that crop's looking really healthy at the moment. Uh, just have a look at what's happening with our roots. With the one I made earlier. Here we are again, this has been hit by the wind as well. You start to see here our roots are filling this pot now and these roots out in the field will be progressing following that moisture down during these drier times down to a meter uh, meter or so down into the ground continue to find the moisture uh, and all the nutrition that sits uh, in the soil profile branching out significantly uh, as they go down we've got our plants there and these crops now are just starting to stick out those little tiny root nodules as I've mentioned previously. You may be able to just see that on the camera there. These little nodules on the roots. And that's the roots going down, sticking the nodules out and pulling the nitrogen out of the air, fixing that nitrogen which gives the plant the energy it needs to grow mixed in with the sunshine and our crops are going on to produce these wonderful peas. So that's it for now. I'll catch you again next week.